Hi, Doctor. How are you? Hi, Doctor Sundari. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm also good. So, uh, we are here to talk about the circular from the National Board, which talks about uh, the change of exam pattern. Okay. Now, uh, Dr. Sundari, as you know, earlier we had uh, the exam where 200 questions and the students could access all the questions, review all the questions, come back yeah. and forth. And they had different sections for clinical sciences and basic sciences. So but, how is uh, the new pattern now? Like, do you have any information about it? Yes, uh, there is limited information, but it's enough for us to know that there is going to be a very significant difference. Uh, the okay. circular says that this pattern is going to affect all the exams. So uh, okay. need PG, that's for MBBS, MS, MD programs for INICT, MDS. So uh, we we have like five sections now. All 200 questions will be divided into five sections. So that's 40 questions per section and a total of three and a half hours. Okay, so previously we, it was three hours and now it's three and a half hours. Previously it was three hours, that's correct. Yeah. And now we have 42 minutes per section, which is oh, adding up to three great. and a half hours. Okay. But there's still, uh, you know, it could, it, it says that this is the possible uh, outline. We are still waiting for more confirmation, but I would like to think that this would be how it is. Uh, you took INICT uh, exam yes. recently. So how yeah. was that different? And so when I took the last session, uh, uh -huh. the pattern was entirely changed. There okay. were no, uh, like usually in INICT, there will be 200 questions in three hours. Mm -hmm. This time the duration was same, that is three hours. But mm -hmm. the section was divided into four sections. Mm -hmm. The same 50 questions of 45 minutes each. That was the pattern. Mm -hmm. But surprisingly, I took... I took a lot of time to read a question because there's no like categorization of this easy questions, lengthy mm -hmm. question. For me, part A was so difficult and mm -hmm. part, part B was like little easier compared to mm -hmm. part A. But the mm -hmm. thing is, I could not go back to part A. So I mm -hmm. couldn't manage my time efficiently. So mm -hmm. I think this pattern is like a little trickier. Only if you practice the mocks or only if you have enough practice of this, you will be able to manage the time properly. Right. So as far as I know, like even I can, yeah. I think uh, NEAT MDS can have four sections or five sections. That information yeah. is still not clear. But uh, it it is necessary because earlier when you had access to all 200 questions, you saved time on the shorter questions, yeah. which you could spend on their difficult yes. longer questions. But here now you are restrained. So... For all the students who are watching this video, the circular, the notice says that if you are uh, starting with section A, that's how you will be. So you start with section A and you will have access only to the section A questions at the first 42 minutes of your time, if it is in five sections. And then when you move to section B, section A automatically locks. So you do not have the time to go. You cannot access that section again. Once you finish section B, you go to section C and you cannot access section A and B. So it is necessary for you to be able to manage your time properly because you need practice uh, yeah. with regards to one minute per question yes. uh, criteria. Although you will have the option to review these questions section wise. Only so those when, particular section questions, right? Exactly. So okay. as you took the exam, you know that yes. it's it's. It's it's good also in a way that you have to focus on one thing at a time. You just time. have Once to think done, about only one section, right? And it goes away. You don't have to worry about 200 questions at the end of the exam. So that's a good plus point. But I think it needs more practice. It needs to be, uh, you know, in your, like, you have to regularly visit, uh, take care of uh, this time management. And of course, yeah. national mocks, like you said, would be able to help us with the whole process. So, Dr. Sundari, another thing I wanted to ask is uh, how is it going to be different for people who've already taken a NEET before? Like, they have a different experience. For first-timers, I understand they've never had the experience. But do you think it's going to change for people who've taken NEET before? Uh, basically, I don't think there's much difference. But what you need to focus is on that particular section. You need to keep practicing the mocks. Why? Because... Uh, the more you take mocks, you'll be practiced to take in that time, particular time frame. And mm -hmm. you will be exposed to lengthy questions here also. And in exams, even if the lengthy questions appear, you don't have to be surprised or shocked about it. Right. So anyone who's taken need before or not taken need before, they have to start taking the mocks as Definitely. early as possible. Yes. 
so that they get an idea of what to expect with regards to the content and the time right. management both also the ai recommendations that we provide to all our mm -hmm. students that is going to help them uh, strategize their preparation for revision that is going to help them understand what exactly are they lacking in their preparation so that going forward from 6 to 8 months now they know uh, what their preparation strategy should be so yes. for all the students who are uh, appearing for neat mds in the coming year uh, they should start taking mocks as early as possible we are going to start mocks early this year okay. so that you can have the uh, you know whole uh, practice from the beginning and uh, you can start taking advantage of the ai recommendations yeah i think we can do that so that the students are well versed with this whole new process for the ones who have taken exam before and who are taking fresh this year yeah that's cool so what would be a last tip or a piece of advice to all of them what my last uh, parting mm -hmm. words would be that uh, although we are awaiting more uh, details of the exam pattern i think we have enough information to start practicing this section wise division and to be able to uh, allot time and you know a mixed bag of questions and it's important to start practicing now that we are uh, nearing our end of uh, the preliminary preparation right so for the students who are taking neat next year start taking these mocks as soon as uh, we start putting them out for you and start working on the ai recommendations because that's so, something that will really help so even if they are not prepared you are advising them to take from absolutely 100% because okay. what happens is the fear of not taking the exam is going to push you till the last minute and you will not take yeah. mocks until the very last month or maybe you right. may not even uh, want to take advantage of the ai recommendations the ai recommendations is not only going to give you a reflection of where you are going wrong or what is your weak area but it is also going to tell you how to uh, cope up with that and how to prepare and how to divide your time okay. with the preparation that's great which you need for the revision so start taking that as soon as you can yeah okay all the best to all of them all the best students thank you for watching this video uh, do check out all the links in the caption below and if you are not following us on instagram and youtube do that right away thank you yeah thank you bye